Good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. I know some of you are moving. Some of you maybe are not at home. But we're going to wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poco mientras los demás eh, pues, se conectan. Mira, mientras tanto voy a revisar algunos mensajes de algunos de ustedes que me los han enviado eh, comentando de que pues están conectados como oyentes. Que van de camino. Mientras tanto, tal vez hacemos una prueba de audio, a ver si no hay dificultades. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan. Everything okay? In order? Okay. Okay, very nice. Are you at home? Finally at home? Yes, fine. Okay, very good. Excellent, Juancito. No problem. I want to see something. Okay. No se averiguó uh, ayer de la plataforma. No me han contestado todavía, Juan. Como eh, okay. algo, algo que me he dado cuenta es que sí están reportando otros facilitadores inconvenientes con la plataforma. No solo um, con esa tarea. Y a mí se me hace que esa, esa tarea quizás ha sido modificada. Porque ya he estado con este curso. Ya he estado con este curso anteriormente y no ha presentado eh, irregularidades anteriormente. Entonces se me hace que quizás ha sido modificado ese ejercicio y, y por eso. Por eso quizás ha de ser verdad la falla. Pero espero tener este, respuesta mañana. ¿Ok? Porque okay. A, al final ese la dejaron así o, o siguieron. Le dieron enviar siempre. No, yo, o sea, yo... Traté de terminar la, la hice esa igual la envié, o sea. Sí, solo que te quedó cabal con quizás 80% te quedó. Sí, ¿verdad? exacto. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, es que como son esas, esas dificultades. Así que vamos a ver. Okay, uh, let's see. We have, well, I know some of you have difficulties depending on the, on the area you live. Algunos viven unas áreas un poquito más alejadas. So thank you for being connected. Well, I know some of you are trying to be on time, pero pues también el, el, el tema del tráfico les, les, les afecta un poco, ¿verdad? Pero igual. So welcome Elia, eh, Fernando, José, Kevin, Odalis, Flor, Mario, Alexandra, Flor, Julissa, Rosa, Cesar, Janet, and of course, Juancito, que lo tenemos con todos los poderes acá. Okay, eh, let's see. The topic of today is, or topic of tonight is, good etiquette at workplace. Es como... Cuestiones de etiqueta, además de etiqueta, son valores, reglas o parte del reglamento que se puede tener en un lugar de trabajo. So, in this case, se trata principalmente de, de la formalidad, ¿ok? Como que la formalidad en, en el lugar de trabajo. This is the class number 14. It means that we have 16, 16 classes. Uh, I'm sorry, six classes left. Seis clases, seis eh, clases más. Imagínense ya, ya, solo seis después de esta. Quiere decir que estaríamos terminando el, el otro jueves. De mañana en ocho, ¿verdad? Así que bueno, solo recordarles que mañana hay que terminar la unidad tres. Eh, 
sé que hay algunos inconvenientes, ¿verdad? Con el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Pero eh, yo veo eso, ustedes completen los demás ejercicios y solo terminaríamos, ¿verdad? El otro jueves eh, con todo, ¿verdad? Con todas las... Ya con Teacher. todo lo conveniente, con respecto al módulo. Yes, César. Eh, ¿Con qué número de tarea es la que tiene problema común? Me dicen es que... La es la 17. Eh, ah, César. En la unidad 4 quiere decir que es la número 2, ¿verdad? Ajá. O sea, en la unidad 4 o es la 17 en total. ¿Tú ya la oh. terminaste, César? Eh, no, no, por eso está preguntando, porque yo digo por la 16. Y no había tenido ningún problema, por eso uh -huh. Sí, entonces, sí, los demás, no sé quién es otro. Bueno, no sé si los demás ya llegaron ahí, ¿verdad? Así José que. José era el único que tenía el mismo problema que, que yo. Sí, seguramente estaban llegando, digamos, eh, por, por ese número de, 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 de tareas, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero bueno, vamos a ver, César, tú inténtalo hacer, ¿verdad? Y dice, aunque seguramente va a ser una cuestión de que de plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque Juan y, y, y Mauricio han estado intentando de diferentes maneras, ¿verdad? Y no, no se ha dado, pero igual, eh, mañana espero tener respuesta, ¿ok? So, thank you, my friends. Here we have also to start a uh, buena etiqueta o formalidad en el trabajo. And here we have, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Dos reglas de etiqueta y digamos, aquí tenemos. Dos reglas de etiqueta en tu trabajo o dos reglas de formalidad. Formal, formalidad. Pueden ser el reglamento, puede ser cuestiones que están eh, implícitas, algo que quizás no está detallado de manera escrita, but maybe you already know because you are accustomed eh, working in that company. Ya están acostumbrados, entonces por eso ya es parte de, aunque no se comente. Yes. So you can talk about it and, and before we go to this, antes que nos vayamos con esto, tenemos acá. Let me see. Here we have some action verbs. There are different types of verbs, you know, regular and irregular. And there are some of, uh, of the verbs that you can't see. Hay verbos que ustedes no pueden ver. Por ejemplo, uh, love, the verb love, el verbo amar. Um, it is not an action verb. El verbo, the verb hate, odiar. Think, pensar, feel, sentir. There are some verbs that they are not action verbs. No son verbos de acción because you can't see. But in this case, we have action verbs. Quiz, quiz es apretar, ¿verdad? Quiz. Eh, crumple, ¿verdad? Como cru eh, es crujir. Rain, cuando tiene, tiene un trapeador. A mop, rain. Steer, batir. Crush es exprimir, así les exprimen ustedes alguna vez en su vida, los han exprimido, laboralmente o sentimentalmente. Carly, good evening, ya que estoy hablando de eso, parece Carly en acción. Hello. Mm, obviously. Good night. Okay. Good, good night. evening. Sobreviviendo, Carly. Yes, I'm better. Definitely. Okay, survivor. Yeah. You said I, I, I like was to... dying. Ah, Existiendo yeah. más de fe. Bye. Sí. Dice que ayer no era Carly. No, Era. por eso ni encendí la cámara, no voy a hacer que los asuste, no sé. <laughs> ok, but uh, we are happy that you're, you feel good, ok. Thank you. So, you crush, peel, es pelar, se parece como pelar, peel, ok. Great es este, cuando ya ustedes utilizan la, ¿cómo se llama? La, la rayadora, no, sí. Rayar. Rayar, rayador se llama, sí, rayadora, yes, that's it. And Snap, ¿verdad? Es igual, eh, parece que había Snapchat, todavía existe, creo, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes. nunca, I never used that, nunca lo utilicé, pero creo que fue un tanto innovador porque creo que tenía mensajes 
que eran eliminados, o era rápido, no sé, o si eran conversaciones cifradas, mmm, algo así escuché. Por eso ah, que se llamaba Snap, por lo rápido. Porque era rápido. Que era, era, los... era instantáneo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, casi que solo lo veía el mensaje y pss, se iba. Uh -huh. ¿Y todavía está? Yes. Yes, right. Yes, right. Bien. Para quienes tienen conversaciones rápidas. Ok. So here we have quiz, crumple, ring, como anillo, ring, steer, crush, peel, rate, snap. Ok. Uh, I guess some of them are kind of easy. For example, peel, ok, snap. I consider that uh, they, they are very easy. Ok. And let's see, maybe we have some others. Like, for example, uh, break, que es quebrar, bend, que es doblar, okay? So, uh, we have some cut, que es cortar, paste, pegar. Mm -hmm. And th there are some action verbs. You, you can say it, okay? So, break, bend, doblar, cut, cortar, paste, pegar. Okay. So um, you tell me if you're here. So say hi, hello, good evening. If you listen to your name, okay. So Abel Danielson, hello. Present teacher, hello. Hello, my friend. Okay, I mention one of these words. Doing good. Okay, easy, good. Okay, um, Alexandra is moving. So Brenda, I don't know if Brenda is there. Okay, if not, Cesar. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Uh, uh, crumple. Okay, crumple. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you, Alexandra. And here we have on Douglas. Mm, okay, Elia. Hello. Hello. Es, What's your word, quiz. Elia? Okay, es quiz. quiz. Okay, quiz. Thank you. Fatima, are you there? Okay, um, Fernando. Okay. I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Flor. Florcita, are you there? Present teacher. Hello. Hello, oh. teacher. Hello. What's your word, Hello. Flor? No, uh, in at home. Okay. Uh, how do you feel, Flor? Everything okay? Yeah. Uh, crush. Okay, crush. And how do you feel? How are you? More or less, so, so uh, good. I tired. I am working the emergency. Yeah, from the emergency you're working. Okay, I know. A veces hay que cubrir, verdad? Sacar todos los lo que no se pudo por el sí. obligado. Okay, thank you, yeah. Florcita. I hope you feel better. Jose Mauricio is moving. Juan, hello, Juan. Hello, teacher. Okay, my friend, what's your word? It's not and chop. Ah, chop. That's Como another. Yes. Picar. Yes, like chop suey. Yes. Chop, chop, chop. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Thank you. Julissa, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, Yulisa. Um, squeeze. Squeeze. Okay, thank you. Carly. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. No. Thank you. Laura. I don't know if Laura is here. Okay, uh, Marvin. No. Annette. Present teacher. Okay. Not... Thank you. Odalis. Oscar. Okay, Odalis, your word. Thank you, Oscar. No, Rosa. Oh, no, it's moving. Kevin. Present teacher. Okay, Kevin, your word. Crouch. Thank you, Liliana. No. 
Okay, Mario. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mario. Your word? My word is crumple. Okay, crumple. Noe, are you there? Okay, and Adriana? Okay, so let's move to the other part. Thank you for waiting. Okay, let's mention two rules of etiquette. Uh, something that uh, maybe you consider as part of, of the company because there are some companies in which they have like uh, different types of, of treatment, different tipo de trato. Uh, for example, some, some bosses or managers, they don't talk to they don't talk to, to a lot of employees. In some other companies, the managers, the coordinators or supervisors, yes, they talk a lot. They greet, they say good morning, okay? De that depends on the company, depends on the NGO, si en el caso de la, si es ONG, it, if, in, if it is a foundation, if you work in the government, in the city hall, una alcaldía, most of the cases, city halls are kind of complicated. I have worked in a city hall for seven years and I have seen a lot of things. Okay, well, but let's listen to some of you. Okay, Where Charlie, what? Uh, in Panchimalco, I worked as a, a music teacher. Trabajé como maestro de música in a project for sí, no, no parejo, pero, Uy, pero sí. no, no sí. parece yeah <laughs> Ven, mejor. entonces sí eh, vean música andina Panchimalco y van a ver el, el trabajo que hice con, con bastantes niños, ahí en YouTube hay varios videos so it is very important ahí está el teacher no, ahí estamos más o menos ahí estábamos, <laughs> no. más o menos. estábamos. Ah, bueno. eh, el proyecto se, se terminó, but Something that I want to tell you is that you know a lot of good people, but also mm, some nasty people. A veces hay gente un poco... Mm, I feel you. No tan agradable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As in any other company, as in any other foundation, but what matters is your work you do. Lo que importa es el trabajo que uno hace, okay? But uh, in that... Uh, environment, in ese ambiente, you feel like vibes, como vive, eh, la vibra, yeah. positive or yeah. negative. So, okay, Carly, you tell me, okay. and maybe one, one rule or one etiquette, good etiquette that you feel, you perceive in the company or in the previous company you have worked before. Okay. Mm, follow your office dress code. O your work dress code, el uniforme. Your uniform. dress. Yes. Mm, okay. But, uniform. Uh, each day it's different. Oh, okay. Así que tengo que idealizarme qué día es hoy para no equivocarme. Y siempre me pasa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and it is important. It's part of the formality. It's part of the, the agreements that some companies have. Okay. So yeah, you have to be very organized with that, with the laundry, para lavar or lavandería or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you and have to. I have another example. Okay. Uh, kindness and courtesy count. Kindness and courtesy, good yeah, one. Good. Yeah, I like, I remember, especially when we work with people or attending people, we have to be kind, polite, uh, yes. Yeah. Courtesy is really important. Thank you, Carly. Okay, let's listen to Juan and then Janet. Okay, Juancito, what about you? Okay, teacher. Uh, my no ruler of seria como etiquette. Etiquette. Uh, mm -hmm. My workplace. Uh, okay. Confidentially. Good. And honesty. Oneness. Honest. Oneness. Okay. Oh, oneness. ¿Cómo sería la, la palabra? Oneness. Honestidad. Ah, ah honesty. Como la canción honesty. de, de Billy Joel. Ah, okay. 
honesty. honesty. That's a simple word, okay? Fundamental in workplace. Yes, it is. It is, okay. Okay, okay that's good. Uh, confidential. Well, to be confident. Confident. Well, I, I'm thinking I'm remembering a lot of things that it is like when you express things in the office or in your workplace, it is good to be, okay, very quiet and not to filter, although not to mention aspects, okay, in the work. And that's really important. Neither exactly. with the customers or other people. Yes, so important, so important. Okay, thank you, Juan, very nice. Um, Janet? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Janet, <clears throat> and then Abel. In my yes. etiquette at your workplace, uh, do not tell personal things on the phone. On the phone, okay. On the phone. Okay. Avoid, avoid eating at this. Okay, good. Maybe when you say, uh, uh, don't talk about personal things, is maybe when you're using the, the phone of the phone, the telephone of the office to talk about personal matters, but maybe to emergency, I guess, yes, but mm -hmm. not for general things, okay? Not to eat uh, on the desk. Mm -hmm. That's part mm -hmm. of to be very clean, okay? Yeah, not to be messy. Thank you, Janet. Abel, what about you? And then we go with Mario. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> No sé si está bien. Ok, go ahead, my friend, no problem. My realist um, workplace is a uh, mark attendance digital mark. De ah, ok. Times. In the morning, in, in the lunch. Y van a la bomb. Ok. Uh, do you use a <laughs> Fingerprint. Listen finger away. Face. And face. Yeah. Wow. Yes. yes. <clears throat> I guess it's part of the punctuality. And unfortunately, I, I consider that there are some enterprises that maybe they don't take into account the extra time that you give to the company. Because I know we have to be punctual as employees, we have to be on time. I don't know if you have noticed, we as employees give more time to the enterprise. So it is like mandatory for the companies to give us like a, yes, like a retreatment, como una retribución, okay, about mm, yeah. Okay, thank you. Robert. And what about Mario? In my workplace, teacher, <clears throat> we have a carnet. Okay. So um, in the morning and in the and when you get out or go out. Yes, mm -hmm. when you go out. And another is we don't use a uniform, but uh, they say uh, we're formal. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, oh. And give us uh, for uh, examples. The Pinterest bad. Well, okay. Give an example of the Pinterest bad. Está bien. Okay, nice. So, but you have like you don't use uniform, right? Uh, no. No. Mm -hmm. But you have like a line of how to be dressed, cómo vestirse. Mm -hmm, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I guess it's part of. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. at, at least you work in a call center, I guess they wear, they wear a lot of different outfits. Okay. <laughs> yes, I have seen. Yes. Thank you, Mario. Sí, yo okay. hubiera pensado que son los más variados para vestir. Yes, but some of them, they use just, they wear just. Triste vida de Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Ustedes trabajan juntos. You no. work together. No. no, yo sí tengo un uniforme el, día, el lunes, salmón, el martes, menta y así. Cabala, ya el uniforme. Mm -hmm. 
Juancito no conoce el uniforme, dice. Ah, Así que mi vida es más triste que de la de Mario. Hecho, <risa> de hecho, sí, en mi vida jamás he conocido un uniforme, pero sí siempre mm, trabajé 11 años en una consultora de sistemas y como era trato con el cliente directo, había que ir eh, corbata, Bata, manga larga, o sea, lo más formal posible. Uh -huh. Hoy en el trabajo donde estoy, eh, realmente es un poco más relajado, porque uh -huh. no tengo ya contacto con clientes, sino que ya okay. propiamente en la oficina. Ya es interno y, el trabajo. Sí. Es interno. Y si se fijan, manga corta y... Bueno, es lo más formal que puedo ir, manga casual. corta, casual, y viernes sí, completamente casual, ¿verdad? Jeans, camisa tipo polo, como uno quiera. Viernesito, Juancito se loca, dice, ese día es No, para... <risa> no pero fíjate, yo te entiendo, Juan. I worked five years in a, in a company and I got accustomed, yo me acostumbré a cierto tipo de... Y uno se siente como y uno se acostumbra. Creo sí. que es parte de la fórmula. Sí. Yes, hay que es decir. parte. Y creo que es sí. saludable. It's good. It's good. Buenísimo. And, but talking about uniforms, I guess Carly has an advantage. Tiene una, una ventaja. Eh, you don't waste no gasta, clothes. No, no gasta no la ropa. en ropa. Yes, that's uh, a lot of... ¿Te dura uh -huh. más la ropa, Carly? Me no llaman. me complico yes. eligiéndola. Yes, si me dieran no. a elegir, no supiera ni qué ponerme. That's another problem. No te pueden decir, ay, esta camisa, hoy oh, está barato el, el rojo. Uh -huh. so, mm, come on. Cuando, cuando cambie de trabajo, Carly se va a dar cuenta de eso. Sí, sí. Carly, vas a sentir la diferencia. <risa> el poder. Sí. So. Así que sonreí, smile. Okay. <risa> va tu ropa sonriendo, because you're not going to, ok. Waste your clothes, tu ropa no, no la vas a gastar. That's something really positive. Just Entonces because... le van a decir, when I see you smile, le van a decir. Tiene que cantar. Vaya, Carly, hoy sí bien activada. Ok, en hey, César. Ya reviví, tú... teacher. Sí, ya agarraste vida. Ya agarraste vida. Eh, César, what about you? Do you have one etiquette of, of your. Pues, Work, please. Eh, pues, ¿qué va? Use personal protective equipment. Because... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. protective uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. Like helmet, como casco y todo eso. Yeah, casco. or no? What? Boots. Yeah. Yes, boots, glasses, gloves. Um, Yeah, that, that, that's really good. Uh, it's like industrial equipment mm -hmm, sometimes and depends on, on the company. So that, that's your case. Thank you, Cesar. Very good. Vaya, imagínense, Cesar no usa ropa salmón, pero anda su lente y su casco. That's another part, really important. Cuando bajo, pero yo paso más en la oficina. Bueno, está mintiendo, Cesar. Ya ven, no miente. Okay. Quieren, quieren. Para darle pero, ejemplo. So, uh, yes, yes, it is important. Va, Juancito. Si no da el ejemplo. Mm. Ok. So, el ejemplo lo es todo. Yeah, that's it. Más que las palabras. Exactly. Ok, okay. Uh, here we have a worksheet in this case. And here we have this. Ok, we already know that cough. Does, any, does anybody remember what is cough? ¿Alguien se recuerda que es cough? No. Cough, cough, we okay. said it. yes, toser, ok, nis eh, es como pues tornudar, verdad, pero, pero más bien como sonarse, verdad, eh, cuando, cuando uno estornuda, perdón, estornuda, estornudar, sneeze, cough, toser, is different, ok, it's kind of different, and throw away, tirar, keep distance, what else? Hug, es abrazo, por eso Hoggies, la marca Hoggies, abracitos, hug. Eh, ok. Take a look at this and you tell me eh, should or shouldn't. Or you can say should not. Ok. 
what you should or should not do when you go back to school. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute just to take a look and I'm going to, we're going to complete it in a moment, okay? Tendencies, yeah, any volunteer? It is easy, should or shouldn't? Number one. Okay, let's go with number one, Ancito. You should count and nice in your elbow. Yes, you should cough and sneeze like should. this. When Just. we, yes, because the bacteria, the virus, Yes, uh, stuck in this. Yeah, and it's important. Yes. Now say, I, I, you have seen people like coughing and sneezing in front of you. I had to get thoughts. Yeah. That's it. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Number two. 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 Number even we have fear. Okay, what about from two to 10? Carly, you? Number three. Okay, uh, Abel and Carly. Okay, Abel, three. Two. Number three, you should keep a distance with your placements and your teachers. Perfect, Abel, thank you. What about Daniela? And then Janet. Number five. Number five. You should frequently wash your hands. Of course, and that's something mandatory. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you, uh, Janet. Number two. Okay. You should several away uses sent into the bin. Bin, okay. Bin, it's similar to the trash can. Okay, yes. And so, el, el bote de basura, okay trash basket or trash can uh, so throw away tira yes that's something recuerdan que la vez pasada ayer estuvimos hablando sobre eso it is not just throw away it's throw away you station into the bin into the trash can okay what about mario and then we go with elia number nine nine let's yes. go you should play football or basketball with your friends oh yes Good one. Uh, what about Elia and Cesar? Elia, are you there? Well, if Elia is not ready, let's go with Cesar and then we go with uh, Douglas. Um, six, Seria. Okay. <laughs> you should touch your classmates' pens or books. 
Okay, you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And remember that in the past, mm -hmm, no deberías tocar eh, los laps. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Touch the place. And remember that in the past, even we used to drink water and the other person went the same bottle de la misma botella and a lot of things that maybe were kind of common or normal, but after the pandemic time, this was really different. Even the spoon, hasta la cuchara and uh, some details that I consider that uh, it is important to have uh, healthy habits, okay? And let's listen now to what about Flor and Fernando. Okay, Flor? Four, seven, um, eight, ten. Number seven. Okay. You should, you should always sit at the same table. Okay, maybe. Yeah, could it. Okay, and Fernando and Odalis. You should have a bottle of water. Oh, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is important to have. Remember, guys, drink water. Drink water. We usually do it, but no three liters no tomamos tres litros de, de agua ya yeah, no, no solo coca cola mario <ríe> no, yo. Ah, mario yes <ríe> oh, coke lover ok odalis are you there ok Odal kevin ok let's continue with this you uh, yes in my defense coca cola has a water <ríe> Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Coke contains water. So contains water. Mm -hmm. you are yes. drinking water. Right? <laughs> yes. You are drinking water. Okay, thank you. You shouldn't how your friends. Esto pasó con la de la pandemia que se prohibían los abrazos. Yes, that's it. Well, should, shouldn't, maybe. And you should. Yep, you shouldn't. Yep next to a classmate that was like limited okay and uh, let's continue with this what about um two or three things you're bad at ah no 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 i'm sorry here we have some other mention the rules of etiquette at your workplace Se me quedaron algunos. what about uh, fernando algunas formalidades or Something that you do in your company? And I don't know, you say uniform, maybe? Okay, good. You, okay, wear uniform. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, Flor, what about you? Uh, um, Coaster, five, five minutes. Uh, pardon. Be fasty before the hours of attention to public. Okay. The, okay. the use of cell phone is not allowed. Okay, it's not allowed use, uh, use of cell phone. Thank you. Okay, what about if we listen now to Odalis? I don't know if you're there. Fatima? No. Okay, Odalis. And do not wear tennis. No sé, sneaker. Así está bien. Don't, don't wear tennis. Or, uh, sneakers or tennis not allowed. Uh, entonces, aquí está. Eh? Not allowed. Mm -hmm. No están permitidos. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Kevin? Julissa? Yes, teacher. Um, two rules don't allow are don't eat in the office. Okay, don't eat. Um, don't don't use the cell phone. 
Mm -hmm. Don't use the cell phone, okay? Because the cell phone, it's a good tool, but uh, it is also a distraction. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Fatima. I don't know if Fatima is ready. Elia, not right. Okay. We continue with this. Hello, In... teacher. Okay. Uh, person on daily in uniform. Okay, daily uniform, similar to Carly as some other that said um, it is an advantage, but also sometimes it is a disadvantage. A veces un poquito aburrido, right? Kind of boring. Yeah, but has advantage. Brenda, hello. Are you okay? Yes. Uh, the uniform, ¿cómo se dice? Redecía o algo para el cabello? Net. Sería hair net. Mm -hmm. Hair net. Yeah, hair. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's very important, and especially when you work with food in restaurants or some other, that's part. And even if you go to a restaurant and if they are not using, you see like very different in comparison to some other that they were. And it is not about to have a lot of money, no se trata de bastante dinero, but that is part of to be healthy. Eh, parte de, de la higiene de ser saludable, of course. Okay, thank you, my friends. Very nice. We have some other activity here. But we always have or make emphasis in things that we are good at. Siempre hacemos énfasis en las cosas en las que somos buenos. But what about things we are bad at? I consider myself, I have skills, but I have some uh, things that I don't do it very well, a lot, a lot. I have a list of a lot of things. So mention two or three things you are bad at. For example, I'm bad at singing. Soy malo cantando. Entonces, cuando se dice at, después, este... Eh, pueden decir el verbo con ing o pueden decir I can't dance salsa. Ok, esa es otra forma de decirlo. Yo no puedo, pero pueden decirlo soy malo cantando o mala cantando o no puedo bailar salsa. Depends on you. Ok, mention two or three things. So in this case, we're going to start with Julissa and then we go with Brenda. Ok, Julissa, what about you? Um, I am bad memorizando, teacher. Memorizing. Um, memorizing. Okay. I am bad at memorizing. Um, Everything, todo o algo en específico. Porque las mujeres tienen no, buena memoria. No, la mayoría de cosas. Ah, okay. Los olvido. Maybe related um, to work, related to dates, alguna fecha quizá y todo, but hay cosas que las mujeres, there are things that Women, don't forget. A la mayoría soy mala teacher, pero... Y I am bad at cooking. Really? Cooking, that's important. Yes. For men and for women. Cooking, okay, Julissa, bien. Okay, dice que Julissa mejor compra comida. Better, okay, thank you, Julissa. What about... Mi hija the... cocina, teacher. Oh, yeah, good, <laughs> very nice. Bueno, Julissa... We all have skills. So, tenemos habilidades. Okay, different skills. Uh, Brenda and Janet. I am bad at quiet. Estar quieta. Quiet. Ah, being quiet. Or I can. Be quiet. Really? Are you hyperactive? Sí. Eres hyperactiva sí. or not? You sí. just get bored. So, so yeah, hyperactive. hyperactive. Ah, hyperactive. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, what about Janet? And here we have Odalis. I am bad at something. Okay. In qué mala mencionas? Oh, qué se te dificulta? Cantando. Cantando. Canta. Mm -hmm. ah, singing. Singing. Okay. I'm I'm bad at singing. Yeah. It is not an uh, ability for everybody. Thank you. Okay, Odalis, are you there? And then, uh, Abel. 
I am uh, playing football. Okay, I'm bad at playing football. And mm -hmm. doing things. Will they are watching me? Uh, yeah. me yes, because maybe we feel distraction. Okay, that's another thing. Thank you. Pero depende también. <laughs> yeah, depends. If they are strange or if they are friends, their family, yeah, that depends. Thank you, Abel. What about you? Okay, teacher. I am bad at learning the strip by name. Really? So yes, really. I am very bad. <laughs> but that's important. That that's very useful. Yes. I know the places, but I not yes. the name of the strip. You have location, there are some business and negocios, and you have an idea. Oh, okay, like this. Teacher, yo creo que muchos sufrimos lo mismo. Only si resident. a mí me preguntan dónde queda, yo les digo a la par de un palito de mango donde vende una señora tal cosa, porque si no es mentira. Pero son estas... <risa> Yo considero que son de mi generación hacia ah, quizás o una anterior, porque los demás, yo conozco mucha gente que sabe los nombres y uh, I feel like sí, se I know. y todo y con nombres. Yo me puedo ver el nombre, pero no. Mapa mental, pero yo no. <laughs> yes, I know some names. Yo no conozco varios nombres, eh? muchas calles, but Lo más conocido. there are some people, yeah, there are some people that they have like a big memory for that. Okay, and let's continue with the last person in this case. What about if we listen to Carly? <laughs> Oli. <laughs> Oli. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm bad at lots of things, but uh, yeah, maybe but... can be remembering dates. What really? Yeah. Remember um, um, anniversaries, okay. birthdays. Yes. <laughs> sí. Did you have problems uh, for that? Yeah, always. <laughs> eh, no sé cómo decirlo, pero es que soy muy distraída. No, no me enfoco. Um, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, I distract very easy or easily. Yeah, easily. Or oh, distracted. Um, maybe I'm bad at playing instruments. I can play any instrument. Any? Oh, really? Really? Yes. Okay. Remember that some people are good at sports, music, arts, painting, um, working with tools, trabajar con herramientas, a lot of good handcraft, yeah. manualidades. Yeah. Dancing. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. good at dancing, but uh, dancing. Okay. Music is not my thing. Okay, it's not yours. Okay, no. well, <laughs> well, yes, as I told you, that depends because I like to play different instruments. I love playing because that's part of my uh, hobby. Yes, yeah, but, well, depends. Okay, Carly, very nice. We're going to continue later with the others, the other debilidades. Okay, and here we have this. This is, um, Reading activity is an activity of lectura. So let me close up. Okay, tenemos read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. Guidelines son como lineamientos, okay? Then identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. Hay detalles clave, cuando decimos keywords son palabras claves, key details es como detalles claves, ok so good etiquette at the workplace, I will need your help, ok Abel, you start and then we go with Juancito ok, so Abel you start here and you finish here ok there are many workplace etiquette or guidelines. Guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. Thank you. Okay, Juan and then Janet. If if you are late because you have an emergency, that is okay. How will you? 
However, yes. habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. Good one. Okay, Janet and then Carly. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible, responsible and you respect the organization. Thank you. Yes, you respect the organization. Carly, and then we go with Julissa. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be for the concerned authority and report the reason why you're late. Thank you. Report the reason. Okay, Julissa, and after Julissa, we go with Mario. Okay, etiquette is also. Etiquette is also important when you have to com communicate with employees or cl clients in any part of the world. Thank you, okay. Mario, and after Mario, we go with Brenda. In those case, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of the countries. Thank you. Okay, uh, Brenda, and after Brenda, we go with Cesar. In the official okay. email, you need, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. 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 Thank you. Okay, we go with Cesar and after Cesar, Fernando, you? You all you. need to include all the important details. You should use forms and gram grammatically, grammatically correct language for emails. Okay, very nice. Yes, for emails. <laughs> Okay. Ya casi terminamos. Okay, in addition, uh, what about if we go now to Fatima, are you there? Está por ahí, Fatima. Okay, if creo que Fatima tiene dificultades. Fernando, in addition, in addition. In addition, the knowledge of the telephone etiquette in the workplace is a very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at same point during our daily work. Thank you. you. Very nice. Okay. Oh. Recuerden siempre tener silenciado el micrófono porque si no escuchamos ahí lo que están hablando. Okay, Douglas, please. And then Kevin, be polite. Yes. Uh, be polite when you talk to your employees on your super, supervisors. Listen. Listen, yes. listen to what they, they say careful and do not interrupt. Uh, be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Yes, thank you. To avoid wrong interpretations. Kevin, are you there? Okay, if Kevin is ready, what about Noe, please? Etiquette guidelines. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-work who works. If you get, get a call when you are 18, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Yes, and then receive the call. What about Flor? Are you there, Flor? And then Laura. Do not talk mm -hmm. loud. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you show. You should remember that your behavior, behavior. behavior and manners are under observation. Thank you. Laura, are you okay? Okay, if Laura is not ready, Gisela, I don't know if Gisela is there. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Following etiquette guidelines. Okay, following etiquette guidelines 
can play a very vital role for future promotion. Thank you, future promotions, okay? So we have different, uh, thank you, Gisela, different types of ideas that were mentioned in here with some details, okay? So it is important to have into account this. Now, let's move to another part. Let's see, here we have some questions, okay? If you know you're late, you should, we have three options, A, compensate the time, B, call the person you report to, C, not to do anything about it. Okay, Janet, what do you consider? Compensate the time, call the person you report to, or do uh, not do anything about it. What's the correct answer for you? In question number one, si va a estar de que debería hacer. Mm -hmm. um, B, call the person you report to. Excellent, that's it. It is important if you are late, if you say, okay, I'm sorry, I, I had an emergency. This is the reason why I'm coming late, okay? Thank you. And what about the other part? Thank you, Janet, very good. Two, what is a tip to apply in official emails? A, send the mail in English. B, use a long salutation. C, express the subject clearly. Carly, what about you? What do you consider, A, B, or C? What is a tip to apply mm. in official mail? Let me see. Press the subject clearly. Yeah, express the subject clearly. That's something important, and it reflects that you have respect for the time of the other person, okay? You don't, you don't want to waste the time for the other person, okay? In this case, we're going to have a listening part. So my friends, be ready with your pen or pencil. I'm going to check uh, the audio. Just give me a second. Okay, uh, this is kind of, this is the part number two of the, uh, the audio that we had yesterday. Does anybody remember? Alguien se acuerda de que trató el audio? Nobody? Yes, teacher, the party yeah, on Friday. The party. <laughs> okay, the party on Friday. Yes. Yeah, it was birthday. With the pool, birthday. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Yeah. Yes. And some other drinks. Okay. And remember that it was a message. Fue un mensaje. ¿verdad? It was a message. Like in an answer machine, possibly in a máquina contestadora. Okay. So maybe in an answer machine. So uh, here we have part number two. Okay, let's listen to this and take notes. Ah, oh, you're still not answering your phone. Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. Okay, let's listen one more time. Oh, you're still not answering your phone. Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. 
Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. Okay, very nice. What about volunteers? About this, I know that you have written, you have noted some of the words. Juancito, what about you? Okay. <clears throat> Hi. Phone, instruction, party, call, rules, matter, all, always, it fears, get the number, Eating, it's so great. Wow, very nice. Good. Cesar okay. and then Carly. Okay, Cesar. Okay. Hi, home, cousin house. Take your car, matter way, right. Taking a bus, eight in Runfield, car, and get, get away. Good. Thank you. Wonderful. Carly. Okay, tengo Cousin's house. Uh, you're still not answering your phone. Drive down the road, then turn left. Uh, this is going to be great. And it's the first big house. Yeah. Good one. If right. you notice, um, there is something very important um, that in the first audio, it was about an invitation. And this one, it's about instructions, how to get to this house, okay? So let's check. Okay, let's see. Eh, le dice, oh, you're still not answering your phone. Ah, aún no contestas tu teléfono, le está reclamando, okay? Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. And then, are you going to take your car? If you take your car, drive straight to the forest. Si vas a ver tu carro, si es así, entonces, eh, tienes que ir por el camino de, del bosque forest until you get to the motorway. Yes, it's sucesivamente, okay? You drive down the road. Tienes que, pues, eh, manejar, ¿verdad? Por tal calle. Y si no, if you're taking the bus, you can get the number eight. La ruta 80, si va en bus, y así, okay? So, it is important. This is going to be so great. And, y aquí es importante. Call me when you get there, and somebody can pick you up. Pick up es recoger o pasar llevando a alguien. Por eso, eh, llámame cuando estés ahí y alguien puede pasar llevándote en un carro, darte un aventón. Ok. Nice. We go this and OK. Mention two or three, three things you are bad at. In this case, I want to listen to Gisela. And after Gisela, let's listen to Cesar. Okay, Giselita, you there? Maybe no. Okay, if Gisela is not ready, let's listen to Cesar and then Juancito. Cesar? I'm not ready, teacher. Not ready, okay. Juancito and then Noe. 
Okay, teacher. I can not lie. Okay. No ah, so that that's I was that I thought that was the in the intro. Pensé que era la intro de todo lo que iba a decir. Okay, so. Mm. Esa es la primera. Es la primera. Yes. You can't lie. No puedes mentir. I cannot lie. <laughs> okay. I don't usually waste time. Don't. Okay. Nice. You don't waste time. Okay. Nice. Yes. And number three. I am not usually a bad co-worker. Okay, you're a bad coworker. That's very important. And you yeah. know, you know something, um, Juan, when you work in different places and you were a good employee or a good coworker, a good partner, people remember you. La gente te acuerda, se recuerda de ti. And yeah. you, you can see that person because remember this. You always uh, are going to, uh, see again another person or the previous co-workers siempre te vas a encontrar con las personas con las que trabajaste o con las que tuviste malos sí. entendidos so it is important to have good relationship right? yes, eh, de hecho tengo eh, mucha gente que me sé encontrar que fuimos compañeros y todavía tenemos ese vínculo de años ya yeah. eh, por ser eso, buen compañero, ya, yeah. y es recíproco. No, oh, that, that, that's really good, eso es, es bastante bueno, eh, y pues realmente um, eso pues es satisfactorio. Es Hay un satisfactorio. dicho que dice que uno no lo sabe todo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero hay que tener el número de teléfono de quien lo sabe. Así yeah. que... <laughs> yes. Solo that, se habla y eso es nunca lo he escuchado, plástico. but I consider it that true. That's totally true. Porque como dicen, verdad, piedras que son piedras se ocupan. Yeah. Imagínese una amistad, sí, siempre se ocupa. Así que definitely, definitely. Consejo para el los jóvenes, los jóvenes, que no caigan en saco roto, dice. No, nah. échenselo a la bolsa, como decía mi Eso. abuelo. Ok. Ok. Thank you, Juancito, very good. Ok. Your comments, and let's listen now to Noé, and then Mario. Yes. Ok. Uh, I can't play soccer. Really? Okay. Never. <laughs> okay, no soccer for you. The Never. one thing, you have two or three. Uh, I can't drive a car or motorcycle. Really? No car or motorcycle? Okay. Never. <laughs> okay, maybe in the future. No. Never know. Okay. Mm. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, Mario? Uh, hello, teacher. I am bad playing ajedrez. Yes, you don't like. Okay, you don't like, or you just. You I try to learn it, not. but when I play, uh, I'm lose very fast. Oh, okay. I'm lose faster. <laughs> That's kind of difficult. I know the basic rules. I have tried to play, mm -hmm. but it is not easy. It is not so easy. No, it's very difficult. Yeah. In another, uh, I don't know, teacher. I can, ah, I can't dance poke poke. I don't know if you know it. Poke poke. Aha, uh -huh, poke poke. No. It's the first time you listen. Yes, is that a Chinese or Korean stuff? <laughs> no, teacher. No. Uh, here in Santa Ana. Uh, Antes se bailaba eso, se llama, se llama poke poke, pero es como bailar electro dance más o menos. Pero igual si usted busca en internet, en YouTube, ahí le va a salir. Poke poke. 
con K. Sí, con yeah. K. Ok, ok. Lo, I'm going to look for it. Ya me dio curiosidad. <laughs> ya voy a buscar otro. otro ok, otro, After okay. the class. Thank you. Thank you, um, Mario. Very nice. And what about Kevin? Are you ready, Kevin? Maybe not. If not, we listen to... Fernando, what about you? Well, in my case, I'm not a fan of uh, playing instrument. Okay, nice. Okay, very nice. I'm not a big uh, fan. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Only but one, I, Fernando? But I'm really into playing tennis. Oh, wow. Very nice. That's really healthy. Good one. And uh, remember, we have some abilities for something. We have skills for it. Some things for some others, maybe we are not so interesting. And what about uh, Elia and Fatima? Hello, teacher. Um, I forget people's names. <laughs> you forget. Mm -hmm. Okay, Elia, you forget people's name, but what about the face? People's mm -hmm. face? See? You, yes. you remember. Yes. Just mm -hmm. the yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, yes. that's something. Okay. Uh, um, speaking in public. It is difficult for you to speak in public. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, I uh, was <laughs> I was terrified like 10 years ago when I had to speak in public yes. with an audience. But now I I consider that I have learned, ya aprendí bastante, mm -hmm. bueno, un poco, but I know it is difficult. Sí, Mainly yes. we don't have practice, cuando no tenemos mucha práctica or experiences, definitely thank you what about Fatima are you there? no ok, Flor what about you? ok teacher I va dancing salsa really? ok yes I'm bad at Sweden. Sweden? Sweden, yes. What do you I mean by that? Uh, I'm bad at makeup. Mm, makeup? Makeup. No, oh, okay. Okay. Muy mal. <laughs> well, remember, we have some abilities for some other things. Thank you, yes. Flor. Okay, very nice. What about, ya que veo a Flor, ya no le preguntamos a Carly cómo se iba de su perrito. Carly, ya no nos contaste. Ah, it gets better. Eh, fíjese que le cayó muy bien las gotitas que me dijo ella y, y la primera vez que se las pusieron, pegó una gran dormida y, y roncaba y todo y ya cuando se despertó ya se movía mucho mejor. Así que se los agradezco mucho y también por preocuparse. Qué bueno. Ya ve. Ya Eso pasando. uso yo con mi pug. Ah. Florcita pone ahí tu veterinaria en línea ahí. Bueno, <risa> sí, ahí uno, nunca sabe, uno nunca sabe. Remedios caseros. La voy a sí. poner. Si es que rapidito, a la primera echadita él se vio diferente. Quieren sí. tener ojitos limpios en los perritos, pongan lienzos de orégano, limpienlo dos veces por Yo semana. Pensé que para mí, Flor. Pensé que para mí. <risa> Usted sí. dijo para perritos. Ah, pues sí, para que para mí también, ok. Nice. No, quieren... se vale también, se vale, sí. se puede. Sí, se puede, se puede. De hecho, es bueno porque la, el orégano es un antibiótico natural. Solo que el lienzito de agua tibia, sí, suavecito, sí tiene y pelos o tiene muchos cheles se puede usar eso orégano, entonces sí. se le pone con, con mantitas tibiecita. usted lo pone a coser y, y el agua tibiecita se pone así a los perritos le agarra con un trapito y lo limpia así con agua, no caliente sino que agua al tiempo igual lo puede hacer en una persona, eso limpia bastante mm, ok Thank sí, you. es bueno es bueno saberlo. Sí, y cultural. Se ahorra, y se ahorra. Y a Carlita, si le fa, algún día las orejas están llenas de... Se le quiere hacer infección, se ponen 
ajos a freír y se dejan enfriar y se echan dos gotitas en cada oreja para mantener los oídos de los perritos. A mí Ajá. se me enfermó también el pug y gasté, no les voy a mentir, como cuatro botes de unas gotas que solo traía un poquito así y costaban como 12 dólares cada gota y las tenía que usar dos meses. Total, compré solo cuatro y de ahí me dieron esa medicina y eso seguimos usando y ahí está el perrito. Porque no, yo tengo un pug y los pug son bastante delicados. En cuest... Bueno, todos los perros en general, los oídos son bien delicados. Una gotita de agua y sí es una gran infección. Menos los aguacaterres. Los peluditos. No, no, no todos. Los aguacaterres son los propios. Ok. No, hasta que... ellos se enferman. No, Libre pero... mantenimiento. Los, <ríe> los pastor. Se mantienen solos. Pipil. Sí. Pastor. <ríe> pastor Ay, Pipil. No. Good, good point. Ok, thank you. Bien, ya, ya hablamos de los perritos. Qué bueno que estén bien. Ok, we continue with this. Pastor Pipil. César, are you ready? Or if not. Yes, teacher. Ok, please. And but uh, giving words of encouragement. <laughs> giving words. Como para o sea, como palabras de aliento cuando estás como ah, okay, yes. yes. <laughs> With some difficult time, that uh -huh. moment. It is difficult for it. Yes, I know. Yes, con una escoba. Yes. Remember, uh, sometimes it is good to say some words, but some other times it is just necessary your presence. And it is good because yes. the other person feels that you are there to support him or to support her. Thank you, Cesar. Okay, we're going to continue with this, my friends. Let me show you some other activities that we have here. Okay. And here we have this. Number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. Okay. A, speak using clear voice. B, interrupt the other speaker See, use polite language. Okay, Juancito, what do you consider? Which is not? Speak using clear voice, interrupt the other speaker, use polite language. Uh, B. Yeah, interrupt. The interrupt. other speaker. Yes, that's not a good etiquette. Thank you. And here we have number four, and this one is for Flor. If you receive a call while you are eating with a coworker, you should, si recibes una llamada cuando, mientras estás comiendo con un compañero, tú deberías, A, ignore the call and continue eating, B, answer the call at the table, C, leave the table and answer the call. Okay, Flor? What's your opinion about this? I'm sorry. And, and see, okay. leave the tape and answer the call. Yeah, could it be very nice. And here we have this, uh, some other activity that here we have. Let me show you. You are pair work. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. You are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. Or the short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Bien, entonces en el trabajo de pareja eh, están a cargo de un grupo eh, que va a visitar a otra compañía para hacer una alianza. Write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Vamos a escribir un manual corto de etiquetas para tus compañeros de trabajo. Ok. So, etiquette manual, year 
2022. Number one, greet everyone in the facilities. Two, three, four, five, six, okay? So it is a rule, a rule, set of rules, como una lista de, de reglas que deben de mantener cuando se visite a la otra compañía, okay? So let's think about six etiquette uh, or six rules that that group of visitors should apply, que deberían de aplicar, okay? And to, to create or to make an alliance, para hacer una alianza, okay? So that's it. Vamos de visita a otra empresa, qué etiquetas, qué reglas debemos de tener, okay? So then we're going to, we're going to work in groups of three. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres, okay? No problem with this. Okay, so let's see what do we have here. Piensen de ya cuál podrían tener. Just give me a second. Okay. See you in a moment, my friends. Please accept the request. Por favor, acepten la solicitud. And see you in a moment. Douglas, Rosa, and Fatima, I need you to accept the request. Laura. Laura, ¿pudiste entrar o te sacó Zoom? Eh, cuando le doy a entrar me saca, no sé. Prueba pero... ahorita, prueba ahorita, te acabo de enviar la solicitud. Laura, eh, creo que hay problemas con la plataforma, entonces.
Okay, uh, let's listen to some representatives. Vamos a escuchar un representante. Uh, we have some, we have one, two, three, four, five, six groups. Tenemos seis grupos, okay? Maybe one representative who wants to share the etiquette, um, etiquette manual. We have, yeah. Number one, two, three, I don't know who wants to be the representative. Algún representante de equipo que no quiera compartir lo que ha trabajado. Yes, teacher. Okay, Juancito, you were working. Let me check. Flor, Juan and Daniela, right? Yes. Okay. Lo vamos a compartir entonces. Ok. Solo que no me deja ahorita. In this moment. Ya. Yeah. Ah, aquí estamos. Ok, perfecto. Ok, no sé, Carly, Florcita, ayuden ahí a leer. Vamos okay. una a una. Ok. Good. Number yeah. one. Put the cell phone on silent mode. Number two. Number two. Bueno, <laughs> ask uh, permission ask. to speak. Okay. Number three. Don't fall asleep in the middle of a meeting. Number four. Ask permission to answer a phone call. Number five. If the call is important, Say excuse me and get away of the group. Mm -hmm. Number six, that you use appropriate vocabulary. Number seven, number seven, to be on time. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I like this one. And don't fall asleep at the middle. No, se <laughs> duerma. <laughs> la mitad de la reunión. <laughs> I know sometimes we are so, so tired and we are like sleeping. La diputada se durmió en la reunión. Oh, pero ella llevó hasta cobijita. Yo le vi una cobijita que está así por el frío. No, de pobrecita, <laughs> quedó dormida. Yo también vi. Yo también vi. Okay. So, uh, who else do we have? Yep. Maybe Brenda, Cesar, or Mario, Noé. Gisela, Yenes, Julissa, Douglas, Elia, Fernando. ¿Ya? Yeah. Bueno, en mi grupo solo las escribimos. Ok, eh, say, no es necesario que, que las compartan así, eh, screen, share, sino que pueden decirlas. Ok. Eh, sería make an appointment. Uh -huh. eh, sería uh, read uh, cordiali. Okay. And proper clothing. También. Mm -hmm. Proper clothing, yes. And, well, and carry visit, visitor identification. Identif identification, que es la ID, un carnet o un badge. Mm -hmm. Queda. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what, uh, what about the others? In my group, please. Okay. Douglas, Elia, Fernando. That's what. Yeah. Group. That's better. What I can tell the first of all is to be polite. Mm -hmm. And polite and great attitude, and also uh, share different opinions about the different situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I like it. And let's go now with Mario and Noe. Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, number one, mm -hmm. to be uh, Number two, you are responsible. Mm -hmm. Responsible, number, yeah. Responsible. Number three, Mm -hmm. You have initiative. Okay. Uh, number four, 
wear formal mm -hmm. or dress formal yeah dress formal okay good um, one why uh, don't eat at work mm -hmm. okay thank you very nice uh good point and we, mm, what about gisela janet and julissa any brave alguna valiente ¿Qué nombres mencionó, teacher? Gisela, Janet, Julissa. Ah, pues no. El otro es José Mauricio, Alexandra, Kevin y Odalis. ¿Ustedes están listos, Alexandra? Mm, sí. Okay. Creo que sí está la, 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 la señorita, porque Mauricio está, está de oyente, teacher. Bien, lo que pueda, lo que pudieron avanzar. Mm. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Ok. Nosotras, eh, esto fue lo que hicimos, lo hicimos así bien general. Ok, yes. Eh, ¿Se los menciono? Please. Eh, punctually, uh, a proprietor a time for work, keep mm -hmm. phone on silent, keep the work are clean, use... Titles. ¿Cómo uh, se dice título? Titles. Titles. Uh -huh. You see title correctly. No sé cómo se dice correcto. Correctly. Yes. Correctly. Okay. Yeah, Calls for attention in. Eh, private. ¿Cómo se dice privado? Private. 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 Mm -hmm. private. A calls for attention in private. Okay, yes. good, very nice, thank you. So we're going to continue with another activity and thank you for sharing uh, your points. And no sé, creo que había otro grupo, pero no sé si estaban listos. Sí, nosotros, teacher. Okay, please. Okay, se lo voy a decir bien. Use appropriate vocabulary mm -hmm. dress formally to be on time follow bio safety protocol okay. and we are safety equipment okay very nice good very nice thank you very good points and now, what about the song? No sé si está por acá. Laura, que ella le correspondía. Laura, are you there? Creo que estaba teniendo problemas de audio hace un momento. Que a ella le correspondía la canción, pero... En italiano la va a decir. Picha. Laura Pausini. Yes. Ok. Bien. Creo que no está, pues, tiene dificultades. Así que vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Janet, este, podrías, este, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Presentar la canción el día de mañana? Eh, sí. La ok. A... Uh -huh. Please, Janet, ¿verdad? Así quedaríamos. Y, este, mientras tanto vamos a hacer la última actividad. Nos quedan 10 minutos. So, um, here we have this very easy reading. Tenemos esta lectura. Y vamos a... Tiene, dice que tiene dificultades con Zoom, que la saca, pero bueno. Bien, eh, comenzamos acá con eh, Janet. Can you start? And then we go with Carly. My name is... Uh -huh. eh, las primeras dos líneas. Is... Uh -huh. My name is Ben. Um, I come from Australia. I am 24 years old and I live in my small town near Sydney called Brown Town. Okay, mm -hmm. I live in a small town. Okay, uh, we go with Carly and then Julissa. I don't have. I don't have a job now, but normally I clean shop windows. I am not married, but I live with my 
very beautiful girlfriend, Maria. In a nice house in Brenton. Thank you. Okay, Julissa, and then we go with Flor. We don't. We don't have any children, maybe next year. Thank my you. girlfriend. Okay, continue. My girlfriend. My girlfriend is, is, is an actress, but she isn't very famous. She acts in a small theater in our town. Very nice. Famous. Mm -hmm. Checks in a small theater. Okay, Flor, and after Flor, we're going to have Mario. At the weekend. At the weekend, we like to go swimming in a big lake near our house. Thank you. Okay, Mario, I normally... I don't know if Mario is there. Okay, si Mario no está, vamos con Cesar. I don't know if Cesar is there. Yes. I normally... Yeah. I normally get up at early o'clock. Yeah. But on Thursday, I get up at six o'clock because that is the day when I go running in the park. Thank you. And running in the park. And we go with Juancito. I like living. I like living in Brompton because it's not too big. There are some historical building in the center of the town and near Bratton. There is river where I go fishing. Sometimes when I went to relax. I want to relax, thank you. Okay, now here we have true or false uh, questions. Let's see, number one. Uh, okay, let's see if you can help us. What about, yes. okay, which one, I'm sorry? Bueno, vamos a ver, primero nos ayuda Noé, select one, Noé, and then we go with Fernando. Uh, ben Com, comes from Australia, false. but lives in America, uh, false. Okay, false, thank you. Here we have, uh, Fernando, are you there? And then Janet. Kim has a job as a window cleaner. Okay, Both. Ben has a job as a window cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the second paragraph. Yeah. True. Okay. What do you think? True. Okay, yes, maybe he doesn't have a clear job, but yeah, he cleans uh, window jobs, okay? Uh, Janet, and then we go with Carly. Number number three, okay. Ben isn't married false. Okay, Ben no está casado, eso es falso? O si está casado? Okay. Aquí dice, I am not married. No estoy casado, dice. Entonces, acá dice, Ben is not married. Como no está casado, the answer is true. It's true. It's true. Okay, Carly, and then we go with Mario. Okay. Ben and Maria are having a... Ah, oh, no, las cinco era, o esa es. Sí, va. Okay. Ben and Maria yes. are having a baby next year. Eh, okay, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes, false you because maybe. The, he is no, no, maybe it's they are not sure. Ahorita están tratando. Okay. <laughs> so false. Okay, Mario and Gisela. I don't know if Mario is there. Si no está Mario, vamos con uh, five. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ben's girlfriend works in a local theater. What do you think? True or mm -hmm. false? True. True. Okay. And uh, Gisela, are you there? And I'm here. Okay, hey, uh, Gisela. Ben gets up early once a week to do some sport. What true. do you think? Yes, that's true. Thank you. Okay, Juancito.
Yes, teacher. Okay, can you help us with seven or eight? And then we're going to finish with a uh, floor. Then the film Brayton is too small. Brayton, the Brayton. This conversation, please. Okay, here we have this. Is true. Okay, what number is true? Uh, seven. Number seven. Yes, yes. Ben thinks Brenton is too so small. That's it. That's true. Good. Thank you. Perfect. And Flor, can you help us with number eight? And we finish. Uh, true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Ben oh. goes swimming in a river near Brenton. Okay, in a river near Branton. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. There is river. Where I go, Where fishing. I go fishing. Oh, fishing. Ah, fishing. And it says swimming. It's swimming. It swimming. Nadar. Ah, nadar. It's false. False. It's yes. false. Yes, it's false. Pero se dan cuenta cómo son bien tricky esas preguntas. ¿Verdad? Solo una palabra cambia porque fishing, pescar, swimming, nada. But okay, very nice. And I'm going to check the attendance list. Okay. So uh, let's go one by one. You say hi, hello, good evening. Y recuerden para el día de mañana ya debe estar terminada la unidad 3. Eh, durante la mañana les eh, comento cómo como el ejercicio. Ok, el que me habían Felicitado, voy a preguntar nuevamente. Ok, Abel Edenilson, hello. No. Ok, aquí se salió. Alexandra. Brenda. Present. Thank you. Eh, César. Present, teacher. Ok, Douglas. No, Douglas. Ok. Eh, Present, up, uh, thank you, Douglas. Elia. Good evening, sister. Good evening. And Fatima. No. Fernando. Flor. Good night, teacher. Good night, Gisela. Good night, teacher. Okay, Jose Mauricio. Uh, Juan. Uh, present, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Julissa. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, Carly. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura, no, right. Marvin. Mirna. Janet. Present teacher. Mirna, hoy te quedas eh, para la sesión, ok. Bueno. Ok, eh, Odalis. No, Oscar, bye bye. 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 Rosa, okay, Kevin, Liliana, Mario, uh, thank you, Noé, y Adrián. Okay, thank you very much. Veamos acá. Uh, sí, Fatima, ya te anoté. Laura, Abel, okay. Okay, my friends, see you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana. Have a good night. Pasen buenas noches. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. -bye. <laughs>
módulo. Solo llegué hasta ah. el segundo uh -huh. módulo. Sí, solo dos uh -huh. módulos, ok. Sí. Vaya. Este, yo considero, ya que eh, al inicio del curso estaba un poquito más tímida. Estaba un sí. poquito con miedo, pero yo veo que ya te estás arriesgando y eso me alegra mucho. Me alegra que ya tomes la iniciativa. Es importante perder el miedo. La pena que cuesta. Eso cuesta. Sí, sí. sí más que todo, sí, en la pronunciación y, y en algunas palabras. Algunas sí las entiendo pocas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero ahí voy como relacionando y, 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 y sí, entiendo algunas. Sí, sí recuerdo. Una... Recuerda, Jen, que siempre, siempre vamos a tener este, palabras nuevas. Incluso sí. yo, que estoy trabajando con material de, de inglés para el trabajo, me he encontrado con palabras nuevas. Sí. Y pues sí, toca adaptarse. Entonces, este, lo importante es que las palabras que ya conoces, que las que ya conoces, las relaciones, las asocias, hay otras palabras que si te das cuenta se parecen un poquito al español. Entonces, sí. eh, ahí vas. Creo que ahí vas, este, de ahí con, déjame ver, creo que sí vas a, a, al día con las tareas, ¿verdad? Mm, sí, sí, ya llevo de esta, quiero ver, ya llevo por la tres, este, el, sí, solo me falta como dos para completar el, el, la, la tarea. Mm -hmm. Entonces, las do, dos secciones, digamos. Ok, mm -hmm. ok, excelente, entonces. Eh, de ahí pues eh, estaremos bastante bien. Lo que sí te sugiero es que eh, practiques eh, semana, bueno, diariamente si puedes, ¿verdad? Siempre eh, escuchar unos audios, mmm, escuchar canciones en inglés, pero ver la letra y practicarla, intentar cantar aunque sea suavecito, porque a veces uno solo cuando está leyendo o escuchando, solo ingresamos información a nuestro cerebro y necesitamos que no, 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 ¿Sí? nuestro labio, nuestra lengua, te suelten, man, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para que tengamos más facilidad de ahí. Bastante bien, Janet. Eh, considero que estás avanzando. Y como te digo, qué bueno que, que ya se está quitando más la pena. Eso es lo que más cuesta. Okay. Vas para arriba. Vas avanzando. Ahí sí, ahí sí, al principio sí, hasta allá decía, ay, no, yo no voy a seguir. Yo sé, <risa> yo sé, <risa> Janet. Y, y yo te entiendo porque a veces uno encuentra también otros estudiantes que están más avanzados. Y ¿Sí? uno piensa, uno piensa, no, estoy avanzando, no estoy aprendiendo nada, pero no, cada quien lleva su ritmo. Ok, cada quien, o sea, sí, algunos sí. que ya han tenido otros cursos, pero vos llevas tu ritmo como otros estudiantes y lo que importante es que puedas acelerar el ritmo, pero eso depende de vos. Que tanto practiques, que tanto prepares, cuando vos preparas las speaking activities que yo les envío en la mañana, uh -huh. practicalo, léelo antes, léelo en voz alta o grabate y de ahí escuchate porque... Eh, yo he visto que algunos me hacen la speaking activity la preparan pero no la practican entonces en el momento cuando vienen ahí las palabras se quedan pero si lo practicaste uh -huh. dos o tres veces no hombre eso vas a, te va a saber y tu inglés se va a notar más fluido ¿verdad? así uh -huh. que estamos bien ¿verdad? Y en cualquier cosa si necesitas apoyo ayuda o alguna confusión tú me escribes ahí está mi número en el, en el grupo ya sabes cuál es ¿Verdad? Y ánimo, ¿verdad? No, 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 no te salga ni nada, termina, ya solo quedan seis clases. Sí, sí, sí. gracias. ¿Verdad? Así que ánimo, ¿verdad? Nos vemos mañana, preparas la canción, ¿oíste? Ya viste cómo la estaban preparando los demás, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Sí, Ay, yo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero solo que, que cantarla, si no, ¿verdad? No, no te preocupes, eh, Juan es el de eso. Eh, invento. Sí, yo bromeando a ese. Ay, deja que es eh, eh, bien creativo, pero no, solo presenta sí. la canción, la lees y ahí adivinamos. Ok, ya no. Mm, eh, de, porque yo este, voy a preparar una cristiana, había preparado una, pero siento que muy poquitas, este, muy poquito la estrofa. Tiene que ser... Ah, una... yeah. Sí, si no puedes buscar una romántica, una conocida, una clásica, lo, o, lo, o lo que tú quieras. Ok, ya no, depende de ti. ¿sí? Uh -huh. Bye, Excelente. Uh -huh. Te me cuidas entonces. Pasa buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bye. Bye.